face that this world has forgotten. This video contains spoilers, of course, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Do not watch this video unless you want to get spoiled. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another video, of course, with a small update on the Sun and Moon game here as we're gonna go over all the new moves and move pools that old Pokemon gets. We're not gonna see any new Pokemon from this generation coming only. Generation 1 through 6 due to me not really want to spoil anyone but we're gonna talk about of course region by region and of course the new moves to get for this generation so with that said let's start off with Kanto so right from Kanto we get Butterfree with Air Slash making it definitely the defining boost like Vivillion of this generation uh, we'll have with Stockpile which is as a few of you guys know raise both defenses will it have could use that probably well too the Fable gets Spotlight, which is a priority taunt move, basically, or not a taunt move, but forcing opponent to attack it. So definitely a BGC move. And Mankey and Primeape will get ability of Stomping Tantrum, which is a ground type move, which I don't believe Primeape actually have a sort of dig. And Power Trip, which actually is a new physical stored power, but dark based, and is basically a stored power that the more you boost yourself, the stronger Power Trip becomes. So a few Pokemon will get a Pretty nice niche out of that, and is worth mentioning. Growlithe and Arcanine will get access to Burnout, which is a new move this generation. It is a fire based 130, and you'll lose your fire typing after using it. It's basically overheat but physical, and it looks like you turn out to be a normal type after you use it. If that's the case, then Arcanine now have access to Extreme Speed Booster with Stab. Having that said, it's still unconfirmed, but it seems to be the case. Uh, Dudro gets Jump Kick as full stance as mentioned before, Marowak gets Stomp with Tantrum, nothing really serious there since all it has a bone rag and Earthquake, Starmie gets Spotlight, Jardos gets Hurricane of all the things which is, wow, alright, I'll take it. Astralis gets high horsepower, as stated before, it has Earthquake, still the superior move, Zapdos gets Magnetic Flux, still lacks the ability though to kind of use it to its full potential. But it's kind of nice to see that it gets, well, a bit of a usage of a different move, really. Moltres get burns up and laser focus from Mewtwo, which is also a new move for this generation. I'm actually gonna check that out. Kind of missed that as I. Let's see, laser focus. Um, laser focus. Um, let's see. The move used the turn after move was used always result in a crit. Okay, um, so that's a move that basically is like mind read that one turn you do nothing, next turn you hit. So that could be kind of not. Nice. So, alright, so let's go to Yodo. Yodo actually got a few nice standout switches, and the one that stands out for me is the one with Furt. Uh, before going into that, Type Lotion gets, of course, Burn Up also, which is good. It has wild shot and stuff like that already, and could probably use something else outside of uh, Flare Blitz to benefit. But Ferret gets Coil, which is just wow. It might not be a game changer for it, it might still be a bad Pokemon overall, but you know, wow. Awesome. Um, Noctog gets Moonblast, that's interesting and definitely good for it. Legion gets Ear Slash, so yeah, it kinda sucks actually. Ariados get Toxic Fred, which is a new move for this generation. To get it with Swords Dance, let's actually check out what Toxic Threads do. Let's see, Toxic Thread, Poison, uh, Poison the Target and lower their speed by 1. Alright, so that's a new kind of niche move, but definitely a more passive move. Reminded me of Parting Shot, but you know, as an offensive, precious one. Uh, Pichu gets Electric Range, whatever. Blossom gets Quiver Dance. I think Blossom still sucks, but it gets Quiver Dance, so that's, it, it, it's, it's, it's cool, I, I, I like it, I, I'll take it. Uh, Sudowoodo, which is actually quite the Nishimon, gets uh, um, Head Smash, which is super, super interesting, uh, mostly because that's a move that uh, it hasn't had, or it has Stone Edge as its best ability, but it has Rocket, so Head Smash there, big change for it. Still bad Pokemon, but could help. Uh, Tearful Look is basically a parting shot when you stay in. Dunspaws gets Air Slash, ew, and Dragon Rush. So two flinch moves for Dunspaws, who already knows Coil, 
So that could actually work in his favor. It's still a bad Pokemon, but it could actually flinch with more moves. Um, Sneasel gets Throat Shop, which is a new tar tar type move. And um, Throat Shop also makes sure you can't use uh, a sound move such as Boom Burst. Uh, Corsola gets Liquidation, a new physical war type move. Delibur gets Real Spec. Uh, Manta gets Roost, yay! And Sukun learns GF Force, which was an exclusive event move until now. So. Now it learns it naturally, and uh, yeah, I guess the short response here is, oh shit. But yeah, outside of that, that's all the chances for Yoto. So let's now look at Hoenn. So Hoenn, not too many things going on here. We're gonna start with Swallow getting Hurricane. So the joke about special Swallow is now is now a real deal. Celsius get launch, which is a new uh, bug type move, base eighty which reduce um, attack by one after usage. Carvana gets Psychic Fangs, which is a new Brick Brick type move, but being Psychic instead. Wailer getting Noble Roar, awesome. Grumpy get Belch, which is good for it because it actually has access to uh, um, Glossomy at the moment, so it actually makes sense. Spinda gets Spotlight, basically making it a real punching bag. Flygon gets Dragonaz, of course. S Swiper gets Sword Stance. That's interesting. Wishcast get Belt, Lunatune actually has Power Gem, so it actually has a real special attack now outside of Asian Power. As Solrock sadly did get Flare Blitz, it makes sense for it, but it still is kind of uh, kind of wanted something new there. But Flare Blitz will do. I was really, really, really wanting something else from it. So of course, with uh, the new fire move being so interesting and so much making sense for it, look, it did get of course raised its, its uh, HP, so it might be viable. But it's just it's not enough to save either Luna Tune or Solid Rock. But at least they got something new here. So with that said, we're gonna look at of course Sino. So Sino didn't get you know the biggest things, but definitely worth mentioning. B Barrel, Sports Dance, Aqua Jet, awesome. War Madame, Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz. Awesome. Mothim launch. Uh, Amipom dual chop. Uh, Skunk Tag Sucker Punch. Pretty sure I learned that already. Lucario laser focus. Uh, Proto Bass magnetic flux. Uh, and then Frost Last Will O Wisp. Oh, thank dear God. Yes. Finally, Frost Last just makes so much more sense. And uh, hopefully, it changes abilities too. We don't really know anything about feature abilities in the future. Uh, Yet, of course, but Frostless getting Will O Wisp is a game changer for that Pokemon, most, most certainly. And for you know, we get a little of, you know, both good and bad, really. Um, Watch get a nasty plot, which is okay. Um, then, of course, Psychic Fangs on Stoutland. Go with to be helpful. I'm pretty sure about that. Just. Can't you see how it hurts as of right now? Do you believe it gets in headbutt right now? So it's not a big change. And the semi monkeys get their uh, the hyper beam or the elemental hyper beam. So it's, it's just meh. Mishana gets psychic train. Important. Uh, Frogan and Matt block. Uh, just why? Basculin gets head smash. I do believe at this moment that Basculin has ability rocket. So finally getting utilized of that, it's kind of nice for it actually. Definitely a weird move for it, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I got it. Crocodile gets Power Trip, which is that store, physical store power. Tortuga and Caracasa Liquidation, the new physical war type move. And Mole gets a Speed Swap, which could be helpful for other mods for it. Definitely a VGC mon. Um, Play Nice, I'm a Mola, nice. Garap and Kling Clang. That's actually really, really, really cool. Definitely want to see more of that. I really want to see if they actually broaden Kling Clang's uh, moves even more. BHM getting Psychic Train. Safety there. Also really important um, because, of course, of reducing uh, priority uh, attacks. That's just, it blows my mind. Uh, goal of like, high horsepower and stomping tantrum. Eh. Earthquake might still be available for it as best of stab, but at least it got those two, which is actually really cool to see. And then Heatmore gets Fire Lash, which is uh, is a new fire type base power move with, of course, base power 80. But I would definitely much, much rather see him burn out. But, you know, fair enough. Heatmore did get something at least, not completely forgotten. And for the last region, Kalos, Lithio gets Flare Blitz. 
or Lit Leo. And uh, yeah, so Moxie is now at least not too far fetched, but well, yeah, it, it, you know, it got something, right? It, it still is kind of funny that it didn't have that before. Uh, Pancham and Pangoro gets Power Trip and Bullet Punch. Power Trip for it might not be as bad or as good, but Bullet Punch is definitely a game changer. Power Gem Dianshi. It's good that it got a special attack rock type. It definitely is good, but Diamond Storm is still the superior choice, I do believe. 9 times out of 10, but at least you have the possibility now to go fully special if you so desire. But that is all the old Pokemon's new move pulls for this generation. It should be mentioned that it's not with a TM list, but there are a few TM moves that are introduced. And of course, this is not a complete list with all the new moves. I don't gonna showcase them to you unless you wanna find them out yourself, then it'd go easy to showcase. Uh, it's gonna be linked down below, of course, this list that are from actually Smogon. So make sure to check out that list completely. And of course, if I miss out on something, do tell me. Uh, so thank you, of course, so much for watching, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one, of course. So until then, of course, take care. Bye.